Okay, let's just cut straight to it. Imagine me standing on the deck of my private yacht. In the Google map location, I have provided to Nano Banana. White suit, ocean breeze near the Fifi Island in Thailand. Yeah, that's me, except I don't own a yacht. But AI makes it look like I do. And you can do this all for free right now. Next scene, Leonardo da Vinci, not painting, but sprinting across a basketball field like a pro athlete. Sweat, muscles, action shot. The guy who sketched royalties in the 1400s is now pulling off a kick. What about this cat right here? Forget chasing mice. He's running a Fortune 500 company, corner office, skyline view. He's about to close a deal with Tesla. And now watch this. Lionel Messi swaps places with me in a Barcelona stadium. He's number 10, I'm number 1, crowd going wild. I can almost hear the commentators struggling to explain this scene. One more. I'm looking at what appears to be the most sophisticated corporate presentation in fruit history. We start with two distinguished banana executives in tiny glasses having a very serious business meeting, about 69 use cases of nano banana. In around one minute, and we have already created a billionaire cat, a world-class athlete Leonardo da Vinci, me as a yacht guy and a whole suit of fun. This is the new pace of creativity. Nano Banana is an amazing image editing model, which can be freely accessed through Gemini Chat or Google AI Studio. Now creativity kicks into high gear, because of style transformations. You upload a photo and suddenly your fruit basket has angular shapes, bold colors, and looks like a masterpiece in a modern art museum. This is where AI shines in reinterpretation. But don't expect consistency. If you try to do it twice, you'll get two completely different versions. And maybe that's the point. Each one is unique, like digital fingerprints of imagination. The next use case is straightforward, but surprisingly powerful. Colorizing black and white photos. The AI doesn't just slap on random hues. It uses context clues to guess skin tones, fabric types, even lighting directions. Does it always get it right? No, sometimes a suit that should be black turns out purple or skin tones are too orange. But compared to Adobe Photoshop, it's ridiculously fast. This is the kind of tool historians and families restoring old albums can genuinely use. Next, Pixar Street. This one is my favorite because it shows the AI's ability to go beyond reality into pure fantasy. It layers textures, light sources, even floating lanterns that glow against twilight skies. Only downside? Characters sometimes merge into each other. Creepy, but also hilarious. Next use case is building a futuristic cafe. Robotic waiters, holographic menus, glowing neon signs. You can literally build a sci-fi movie scene in seconds. But here is where limitations pop up. Text. AI still struggles with writing legible signs, but who cares? Just crop it out and use another tool like Microsoft Paint to post-process it. This still looks futuristic enough to impress everyone. And then the cyberpunk outfit transformation. This is where personal experimentation really shines. Some versions made me look like I belonged in a video game. Others made me look like I lost a fight with a highlighter pen. But either way, it's fun. Now let's crank things up with next use case. Imagine the entire city underwater. Skyscrapers become coral reefs. Cars float past like clumsy submarines. And neon billboards ripple as they are jellyfish. The AI doesn't just give you blue overlays. It actually builds a whole aquatic ecosystem around familiar urban shapes. Do the fish always look realistic? Not really. Sometimes they are oversized clownfish with the size of taxis. But it's this odd twist that makes it fun. You can take any skyline and turn it into Atlantis in seconds. Next up is a jaw dropper. Charlie standing on Mars. The AI captures textures perfectly. Red soil, dramatic skies, rocky terrain. 
If NASA ever needs quick promo shots, this tool is faster than Adobe Photoshop. The magic lies in the shadows and lighting. Charlie actually looks like he is under Martian sunlight, not just pasted in. If I showed this to someone without context, they'd believe Charlie really went to another planet. Next one is our royal dog. You upload a simple dog photo and boom, he is wearing a crown, velvet robes, sitting in a palace like he just won Game of Thrones. The AI adds tiny details, gold stitching, chandeliers in the background. But sometimes it overcommits. I had one version where the dog's ears were sticking to the crown like antennas. Honestly, that made it even better. Perfect material for greeting cards, memes, or just pranking your friends. This one is pure Hollywood energy. You take a casual picture and it transforms it into a blockbuster movie poster. Thunderstorms in the background, dramatic lighting, the title in bold typeface. But here is the limitation. The AI cannot do typography cleanly yet. We have some issues with the text at the bottom. The workaround is simple, overlay your own text. The visuals themselves are flawless. You instantly look like you're starring in a billion dollar action film. An interesting use case is de-aging magic. A seven year old woman becomes 40 again, with long flowing hair and a modern outfit. The results can be surprisingly realistic and AI aging or de-aging is fun for creative projects. On a technical note, the AI sometimes struggles with hands. A 40 year old face with a 70 year old hand. It happens, but when it works, it's super natural. Next use case takes us into interior design. Turn a normal room into a futuristic luxury pod. Think sleek curves, glowing panels, a cross between Apple Store minimalism and sci-fi spaceship interiors. What's fascinating is how the AI maintains the original structure of the room. Your sofa is still a sofa, but suddenly the table has modern finishes and LED strips. This one is nerd heaven. Nikola Tesla reimagined as a Marvel superhero. The AI gives him glowing tech gadgets, electric energy swirling around, and a determined expression. The detail here is crazy. Tesla actually looks like he belongs on the Avengers poster. Downside? Occasionally it turns him into Iron Man with Tesla's head, but still you'd pay artists a fortune for this kind of concept art. Next use case is pure festival chaos. Turning a building into a burning man boy. Suddenly your building sprouts neon sculptures, fire cannons and dust clouds. The AI doesn't hold back with colors. Everything becomes glowing, metallic and oversized. But sometimes it goes too far and the building melts into abstract shapes. Still, that unpredictability fits Burning Man perfectly. This one is my favorite food-related one. You take a simple plate of fries and Gemini 2.5 flash image transforms it into a Michelin star dish. Suddenly the fries are stacked like architectural models, garnished with herbs surrounded by dramatic sauce swirls. Does it always look edible? No. Once I got fries floating mid-air. But if you are running a food blog, this is free gourmet photography at scale. This one shows Einstein in a dragon hideout. Hyper-realistic flames, dragon wings curling behind him. Einstein looking like he is about to teach quantum physics. The textures here are insane. The AI renders scales fire glow, even ash into the air. But sometimes Einstein's face gets weirdly blended into the dragon. Still, as a concept, this is the kind of stuff movie studios would love for posters. And then there is SpongeBob Chaos. Duplicate him nine times, each doing something different in one picture. Once playing guitar, once flipping burgers, once snorkeling. It's like SpongeBob's multiverse exploded into your photo. Limitation here is the consistency. Sometimes you get nine characters, but three of them are half finished with extra limbs. 
but hey, SpongeBob fans won't complain. Next use case continues the royalty theme with Sophia Loren's makeover. Take an ordinary selfie and suddenly you are in a royal gown. Beautiful tiara and posing like you belong in a palace portrait. The AI excels at blending outfits into realistic folds and shadows. But there is the funny part. Sometimes you get extra fingers holding the gown. Don't look too closely and it's majestic. In this one, Dwayne Johnson turned into a paparazzi shot. This one feels very real. Gemini 2.5 flash image adds motion blur, flash reflections, background chaos. Suddenly, it looks like The Rock just left a nightclub at 2 a.m. Occasionally though, it confuses the celebrity. I once got Vin Diesel instead. It's still close, I think. In the next example, I transformed myself into Victorian era portraits. Imagine wearing a waistcoat, lace collars, and standing against a backdrop. The realism here is wild. You actually look like your photo got stuck in a time machine. The limitation? Sometimes the AI exaggerates features. I got one version where I looked like I'd been stretched vertically, like taffy. But most of time, it's a perfect fit for historical role play. Next one is playful ego boosting by headlining a music festival. The Nano Banana generates massive crowds, glowing stages, and your name on banners. It looks like you are the next rock star. The only hitch is again text. Your name might end up scrambled. Most often, it is close enough for bragging rights. This use case explores historical reimagination. Cleopatra born in Japan. The AI actually places her in a tatami room wearing a kimono in a tea ceremony. It's a fascinating cultural mashup. But sometimes it merges Egyptian jewelry with Japanese outfit in bizarre ways. Still, as an artistic experiment, it's stunning. Next one is a group portrait from multiple individual photos. The Gemini 2.5 flash image merges lighting, skin tones, and shadows, so it looks like you were all together. But here is the catch. If someone's wearing glasses, sometimes the frames get bent into their faces. But overall, this is a lifesaver for family photos or team collages when you can't all meet in one place. This use case is observed genius. A chameleon astronaut on the moon. The AI actually adjusts the suit colors to mimic lunar terrain, so the chameleon camouflages even in space. Its equal parts, adorable and epic. Sometimes though, the tail disappears, but hey, zero gravity excuses everything. This one blends three separate photos of city, jungle and ocean into one fantastic masterpiece. The AI blends skyscrapers with vines and waves crashing through streets. Sometimes it's chaotic, like three collages fighting each other. Other times it's amazingly smooth. You'd honestly frame it as a digital art. Next one is pure energy. Elon Musk in a cyber truck going through a McDonald's drive through Nano Banana captures a stainless steel truck awkwardly squeezing between cars. Elon's expression is the cherry on the top. Sometimes though, the phones look radioactive, but that just makes them funnier. And then we have the wedding scene. You upload a casual couple photo and suddenly it's a stage wedding shot. Here is where AI sometimes trips. Clothing inconsistencies happen. One time the bride was in jeans, another time the groom had sneakers with a tux. But when it works, it's magical. Perfect lighting, elegant posing, everything you'd pay thousands for in a studio. So that's it. From Leonardo da Vinci to SpongeBob clones to Elon Musk at McDonald's. We just covered over many real use cases, all of which you can try right now for free. Some of them are jaw-dropping, some are hilarious. But that's the whole point. Google Nano Banana doesn't just make art. It makes creativity accessible, fast and fun. So go ahead, turn your pet into royalty, make yourself a superhero or host your own music festival.
leave a comment and tell me which nano banana use case stood out to you. Thanks.